Hello and welcome to Five and Five, where we take time to ask industry leaders questions pertaining to one of five topics chosen completely at random. We've got Jeff Cheng joining us today. Jeff is the Cluster General Manager at JDE. Thanks. Hi. Hiya. Are you ready to kick things off? Sure. All right. Can you see the spinning wheel of categories? Yes. Let's do it. Please read out the category you landed on. Oh, campaigns. Campaigns, okay. Get your campaign hat on. <laughs> <laughs> tough, tough. <laughs> tough one. So, Jeff, what is, um, what is the riskiest campaign you've ever worked on <laughs> um so the riskiest campaign we ever worked on was something that never saw the light of day okay um i was in china at the time working with uh, uh with unilever and um it was a um uh, a really exciting time for china because um they were uh, hosting the olympics the summer olympic games and um, it was an exciting time because it was the first time the Chinese uh, were hosting and they made a, such a big, uh, big event out of it. And it was amazing. So yeah. um, we wanted to do something guerrilla um, just to sort of create some engagement, some virality. Um, and we decided to sort of uh, do a spoof of a uh, uh, sort of a government uh, PSA. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was very uh, risky in that sense that uh, we were we were sort of interrupting and uh, taking over a sort of uh, a very very uh, strong message from the government about uh, what China was all about and uh, you know the good values and uh, welcoming people to to China. We didn't disrespect it in any way, but it was more uh, poking a little bit of fun, a little bit of cheekiness. And uh, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we decided not to because uh, uh, we weren't too sure how it would be uh, perceived. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, so I, I still have that in, uh, in, uh, in my archives of uh, campaigns that uh, never saw the light of day, secret campaigns, but uh, it was fun to work on it. It was uh, good, good fun, and uh, it pushed really the boundaries and the envelope of uh, what, uh, what we could do. Are you able to disclose what, um, what brand it was? I'd <laughs> rather not. <laughs> Might get into trouble. <laughs> um, so, Jeff, what's, um, what's a campaign that really sticks out for you, like for good or for bad? Is there a, a campaign that always sort of comes to mind? Well, um, I, I, I really love the time when I was uh, associated with Dove. And um, that was really a special time in, uh, in my career and in my marketing life because uh, Dove was a special brand. It was uh, really about empowering women it was about realizing that uh, beauty you know could be achieved uh, you know by everyone so we really made it a point to bring out the best in in women in the products and really tried to serve the consumers so a lot of time uh, we really spent in uh, less of the viral stuff less of the um, you know the campaign for real beauty or the sketches stuff but really looking at uh, how we translate the emotions of Asian women, bringing them to life, making sure that, you know, it was very authentic because it was real women that we were shooting and that we were uh, campaigning for. So um, that, that really sticks as uh, one of the most memorable things that, uh, that happened in my, in my life, in my career, forever grateful for the chance to work on that brand, which is iconic and uh, really touched a lot of lives and a lot of consumers with that brand. Absolutely. Yes, I, I also had the pleasure of working across um, some Dove work and in the Philippines as well and, and well across Asia. And um, it's very interesting how, um, you know, it's it's such a universal message, you know, beauty by, you know, by real women, for real women. Um, but it is also so particular and specific in the different markets and to each individual. I remember working on one campaign where it was um, they were asked, they were stopped 
women in the street and um, often in pairs and would ask them what they liked about their friends, what other, you know, what other qualities. And, you know, they were reeling off saying, oh, I love her smile, her legs are beautiful, her hair. And could you name some things that you like about yourself? And everyone was sort of, oh. Um, <laughs> and it was really powerful. Mm. Yeah. Um, Jeff, talk me through a time where you've had to make a courageous decision in a campaign. Um, so bring something across the line that um, you weren't sure about. So um, there are a few um, few campaigns that uh, we worked on. Um, something that comes to mind was uh, um, on Hagen Daz just recently. Um, we were trying to push the brand to a, a little bit more modernity, a little bit more uh, challenging the status quo. So um, we were we were really looking at uh, how do we bring about the you know, not just the typical ice cream brand where it's all about just, you know, the taste of real ingredients, the taste of really good ice cream. But uh, we tried pushing the, the boundaries on, you know, being non-traditional, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and elevating the brand towards pop culture, towards that mind space of, you know, um, more of irreverence, more of really uh, indulgence to a certain level, to a different degree to a different sort of uh, level um, we pushed that envelope because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of other brands were talking about you know the taste you know the fun the family the kids yeah. and we were we were really pushing it towards you know um, showing diversity showing massively wild colors you know um, we were even uh, pushing the, the 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 fact that uh, could we actually cut the pint in half you know, could we enjoy the pint in a hot tub? You know, could we enjoy the pint running around? So it, it, it was really around um, pushing the boundaries on this brand that was so iconic mm. and yet um, really needed some modernity, really needed some uh, spark to bring it to life. So I found that um, courageous in a way because it was a brand that uh, it wasn't, there wasn't really anything wrong with the brand. So you could argue that you know why uh why change something if it works yeah but there was an opportunity there to really elevate the brand bring in a new spin to it bringing a new uh, uh a new uh flavor so to speak pun intended <laughs> to, to the brand yeah no i mean absolutely hagen does such again such an iconic brand and there are so many associations with it but you, you have to keep it fresh as well so mm. that does take um that takes courage um what's a campaign that you're working on at the moment or, or have been most recently so we're we we've just relaunched um super coffee so in singapore um we've brought out um our our new uh new packaging and new um new product super uh it's really a really extraordinary tasting product and um we're working on a campaign now to bring that to life you know, with uh, COVID uh, as the norm, it's very hard to get people to try mm. um, coffee and uh, food and, and and beverages. So we've had uh, we've had to really think out of the box on how to get samples across, how to mount activities without uh, you know large crowds and with respect to social distancing. So we're working right now on uh, on a campaign. We just concluded a recent uh, campaign around Singapore decides. So we've been asking Singaporeans on, you know, how do they drink their coffee? When do they drink their coffee? You know, um, what do they eat with their coffee? And uh, we, we've gotten a few uh, interesting insights around the island, around the country. So uh, we'll continue that sort of conversation with the consumers, trying to understand, you know, how do people drink coffee? What do they like about their coffee, given that coffee is such an integral part of uh, a Singaporean's life? So. Yeah. Oh wow! Well, I look really, forward to trying some super coffee. <laughs> yeah, please do, please do. It's now available in uh in all leading supermarkets and groceries nationwide. Excellent! I will look out for it. Well, um, it's been an absolute pleasure talking with you, Jeff. That's all. Pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you for um, the wonderful chat. Uh, please continue to stay safe and uh, looking forward to talking again very soon. Likewise.
This has been Five and Five. Thank you so much.